Well, I'm gonna try something real fast. Um, my son, I guess, stepped on this. This is the helmet to his one of his Lego Batmans, and it cracked the under jaw here, um, like always happens. Now I don't know what kind of plastic these are made out of, but I'm going to try to repair it rather than gluing it, which honestly wouldn't work for this. I'm gonna attempt to solvent weld it. I've got some uh, dichloromethane I use for uh, welding acrylics, but it also works on a lot of other plastics. So I think that might be the strongest way to get this thing back together. So we're gonna try it and just see what happens. i find a way to spread that out. There we go. So I'm using the back of a Sharpie here to spread that out so I get just a little bit of a gap. Focus. And I'm gonna dab some of the solvent in there and we're gonna hope for the best. Oh, it's definitely melting because it's sticking to my fingers and to the Sharpie. That's okay. I think that means that's going to work just fine. We just gotta wait for that to flash off entirely. Ah, completely out of focus. So that started melting the plastic almost immediately. I'm gonna have to buff that up a little bit though. Get my fingerprint out of it. Can't imagine that working any better. Solvent welded back together there. All right. Close up the can of poison. And yes, I know you're not supposed to, you know, breathe this stuff or get it on your skin or look at it or anything else. Okay, now we're just going to very carefully buff off my fingerprint. These are sanding twigs, I think they call them, or sanding sticks or something to that effect. You can get them from the hobby store. that a little bit. Something finer than those. Like eight, two thousand. Okay, that did mat it down quite a bit. Unfortunately, this is the finest sandpaper I have, so. I'll probably have to polish this now with a little bit of plastic polish. But that's not a problem. We have plastic polish. I'm just gonna do this with our finger because we don't want it to over buff again. I couldn't really use CA for this because CA dries way too brittle. It would just crack again. Um, Bondic is one of my go-to fixes for, which is a UV cure epoxy. Um, but that again, that would make, it would be too obvious, I think in this case, where it was. Um, something like, um, plastic epoxy, again, you'd have to get in between that crack. And I just don't think it would work that well. I think the solvent weld is sort of the best of both worlds. And the fingerprint is just me screwing up. So this is me recovering from my fix. We successfully fixed it till it was broke. Okay, let's give that a look. That looks pretty good, actually. I'm going to call that good enough. Success.